In this problem, we are to determine the stirrup spacing for this beam. Uh, the shear diagram for this particular problem, if you draw half the shear diagram, it'll look something like this, where the maximum shear goes up to 105 kips at the support. Because there's a concentrated load in the middle, the shear goes down to 15 kips and then drops down past zero and actually goes to negative 15 kips on the other half of the beam. But for our half of the beam, this is what it would look like. The first thing that I want to calculate is what VU critical is here. And again, we do this based on the straight line formula. In our case, our factor load is 9 kips, so that's a slope of negative 9. Again, I'm going D out from the face of support, and my line starts up at 105 kips. So that makes VU critical that I have to design my initial stirrup spacing for uh, 87 kips. I may as well calculate V sub C at the beginning of this problem too, because I'm going to need that in my subsequent calculations. So V sub C in this case comes out to 45,500 and some odd pounds. I'm going to change that to 45.5 kips. So to determine the initial stirrup spacing, I first need to determine what the V sub S is going to uh, need to be in this initial region. So I take my critical shear divided by phi, and then I subtract V sub C from that. That's going to give me an initial V sub S that I will need to generate in my beam of 70.5 kips. The spacing then comes from the formula AVFYD divided by V sub S, and in this case I'm using number four stirrups, U-shaped, so that's the AV, 60 KSI steel, D is 24 inches, and the V sub S that I need to generate is 70.5 kips. Solving for this, my spacing comes out to be a little over 8 inches. So of course my initial spacing then would be 8 inches. I'll place my first stirrup, I'll locate my first stirrup at half of 8 inches just to give it a location. And then if I'm going to carry these stirrups out to the middle of the beam, the middle of the beam is 120 inches out. So I'm 4 inches out after my first stirrup's located. And if I come up with uh, the number of stirrups that I'll need at this point, spaced at 8 inches, I think 14 stirrups spaced at 8 inches will bring me out to, I'm already 4 inches out here, 8 times 14 is 112. By the time I get, I add the 4 inches back on, that brings me out 116 inches. So the stirrups will be just short of the center of the beam.